The title of today's webinar is Signify Lighting Academy, Dynamic Light, The Fourth Dimension of Architecture. It will be presented by Sabrina Mandel. Sabrina, an architect, lighting designer, and professor at the University of Buenos Aires in the Faculty of Architecture, Design, and Urbanism, loves light and has worked with dynamic LED facades projects for the last 15 years in five countries. She loves to define herself as a woman in lighting. She was involved in the specification, design, documentation, and show light contents in the first color kinetics projects done in Latin America. She loves light as a transforming source of sensations, both in daily life and in public spaces. She conceives light as the only one responsible for showing us the world around us and having the power to change the reality of what we see and feel. So now I know you're all eager to start. Without further delay, I will hand over to Sabrina for her presentation. Sabrina, the floor is yours. Hello. Hello to everyone. I'm Sabrina. Thank you very much, Signify Lighting Academy, for this invitation. Thank you very much, Jeff. I'm very glad to be here with you today. As you know, I'm an architect. Here you see me there in the color kinetic headquarters in Boston. I'm a lighting designer, but I'm first a lover of dynamic lighting. You see the dynamic there. <laughs> Anyone close to me knows that it's a recurring item in my daily life. Working with what you love is exciting. More I read, more I find. I'm a project manager at LDLS Peru in Chile, and the experience of having worked with color kinetics for the last 15 years changed me. I find magic in light. It's the light of nature. Our everyday lighting. Who doesn't want to be under that beautiful sunset right now? See that sky, that, that beautiful sky in Uruguay last year. I am sure you have been there with me, most of you or some of you, in Colonial Sacramento, in the, in the ALD, AILD, or Lighting Designers. Well, we all want to be there because nature attracts us, right? The nature light changes every second. And the human being is used to living in an environment that changes every hour, right? See that great ocean. We don't have a same day a same day to the other. Wow. Do you know him? I love him. Understanding the circadian cycle reveals that environmental factors affect the biological rhythm of people. The alternation between light and darkness is decisive for living organisms, creating a silent dialogue that orchestrates the optimal functioning of the body and mind. Biodynamic lighting is an experimental field that has many areas of opportunity. The fundamental, the fundamental thing is to recognize that the cycle of sunlight has a close relationship with life. This opens the door to a new form of sustainability and responsibility for lighting. Symbolism is very important in South America, too. The identity of the towns is, is very important. That is why in most buildings, you always have the flag on the, of their countries represented. In this case, it's Peru. What do you see here? We can do rain in Lima when it never rains. 
That's a very, very good combination. And the controller let us to do a lot. You combine the effect and then you have great results. The mixing of the colors are very similar to rain when you are there on the street seeing up the building. That's great. You have to leave the experience. The videos are not enough, of course. You know that. Well, we can do a Christmas tree of more than 40 meters tall. That's funny, right? The people of the city wants to see that in Christmas. So it's uh, on only on the well some in, uh, next next week in the 40 in the 24 of December you can see that in Lima